So guys, have you heard of the Ottawa Rules? This is a really important set of criteria for patients who have had a traumatic ankle injury. So if you're ready to explore them, let's dive in. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So the Ottawa rules for the ankle. These are a super important set of criteria that are used in emergency departments to try and work out whether or not a patient with foot and ankle pain should be given an x-ray to help us diagnose a fracture. So the Ottawa rules for the ankle and foot were developed in 1992. This was at a time when every patient who would go to A&E who had an ankle sprain would be likely to have an x-ray. But actually only 15% of these patients did actually have a fracture. So as a result, the Ottawa rules were designed to try and reduce the number of unnecessary x-rays by identifying the key traits, the key signs that patients who did have a fracture did present with. And the idea is that this would save time and resource in a really busy emergency department. So the first point of the Ottawa rules is that we should assess a patient's walking, and particularly we're looking for if they have the inability to bear weight both immediately after the injury and for four steps during their evaluation in the emergency department. And we couple this with pain in one of the following areas. First of all, bony tenderness along the distal six centimeters of the posterior edge of the fibula and the tip of the lateral malleolus. Secondly, bony tenderness along the distal six centimeters of the posterior edge of the tibia and the tip of the medial malleolus. Then bony tenderness at the base of the fifth metatarsal or bony tenderness at the navicular. So once again, just to summarise, we'll need to be aware that as a part of applying the Ottawa rules, we'll need to establish if our patient has the inability to bear weight for four steps, both immediately after their injury and in the emergency department, or if they have pain on palpation of any of these areas. So now that we know the key signs that we're looking for, let's explain how we actually apply the Ottawa rules for the foot and the ankle. First of all, we need to consider this diagram, which shows us the malleolar zone and the midfoot zone. It shows us that the malleolar zone includes points A and B, which we discussed earlier, where point A includes the posterior edge or tip of the lateral malleolus and the six centimeters proximal to this, and point B includes the posterior edge or tip of the medial malleolus and the six centimeters proximal to this, whereas the midfoot zone includes point C and D, where point C is the base of the fifth metatarsal and point D is the navicular. Now, the reason this is important is that the entry criteria for the Ottawa rules, the key indication that we should use the Ottawa rules is if our patient has had a trauma and reports pain in either the malleolar zone or in the midfoot zone. If they report pain in the malleolar zone and either have pain on palpation of point A or pain on palpation of point B, or are unable to take four weight-bearing steps immediately after their injury and in the emergency department, they should have an ankle x-ray. If they report pain in the midfoot zone and either have pain on palpation of point C, or pain on palpation of point D, or are unable to take four weight-bearing steps both immediately after their injury and in the emergency department, they should have a foot x-ray. Once again, pain in either the malleolar zone or the midfoot zone following a trauma indicates that we should apply the Otto rules to this patient. So if that is the case, patients who have pain on palpation of the relevant points or the inability to weight bear as discussed will need an x-ray. So do we use these rules in practice? Absolutely we do. In fact, they've been suggested to have almost 100% sensitivity when used, and they've been shown to reduce the number of unnecessary x-rays by 30 to 40%. So a real time saving and resource saving measure in the emergency department, meaning more patients can be seen and treated accordingly. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to our channel for all our best updates. Remember, you can find loads from us on Instagram at Clinical Physio and on our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.